Chelsea face competition in the race to sign Benfica wonder kid Joan Yaps. According to Vicajes, Chelsea is facing steep competition from Spanish club El Madrid and Barcelona in the race to sign Portuguese sensation Joan Yaps. The Benfica star has been an absolute sensation for club and country. Joan Yaps has made 45 France's decision and has also won four caps for his national side. The midfielder has been linked to several elite clubs like PSG, Barca, Rio, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Manchester United. His parent club are aware of the interest in their wonderful kind and hence they are working to extend his contract. This will help them to include a mammoth release clause worth 120 million euros to 150 million euros. That will be a huge financial gain for Benfica, but it will certainly be enough to burn the pockets of any potential sweeter. Nip has made his reputation for being a tough defensive midfielder who can also contribute in attacking moves. The young surpassing abilities and ball control have been pressed the scouts. It's no secret that Chelsea is always looking for talented young players and are actively spending millions to nurture such player at stamper rates. Nips would be no different and that while his side have their eyes set on a midfielder. However, Rio and Borca are looking for a classman for Luka Modric and Sergio Busquets. They feel that the Portuguese star Joe Nips is a long-term solution for their planes. We believe that it will be difficult for the bloke runner to meet such a huge asking price, but Real Madrid certainly make a deal out of this one. The plus need to be one step ahead if they want to leap ahead in this tight race. Johnny Paul is skyrocketing after every game and he won't be overlooked this summer. It remains to be seen which club emerges victorious in his height octane transfer saga. Chelsea was certainly signed Moises Caicedo and Robin Lavia, but the latter struggling with injuries. Enzo Fernandez has been the real deal and along with Coicino, he has formed a solid pairing. It seems highly unlikely that they will spend such a huge fee on another defensive midfielder.